site. They don't boost anyone up towards mid. They're just going to straight up push it towards A. They've got four in A main and one towards Squeaky. As they're going to push out here, they've got one to deal with that quad and one on the fence, as well as one speedway. So FNS picks up one. Fugly returns it, though. Nafi goes ahead and gets a frag. And now there's a battle at Forklift. Fugly wins that one over Peter. And he's going to sit there. And now, with the nade hailing in, that's hazed with Cutler left. And they've got three terrors to deal with. The bomb is planted in the default spot. And they are just turtled up here on the quad and in sight. They're not going to... Actually, Naf's going to go ahead and peek out a little bit. I don't think they're going to expect two to be quad. Yeah, this, is a really, this is a really strong setup for Liquid to hold off this retake of Dren. Still at the plant spot. He's going to be able to swing out, but he looks the wrong way. Cutler takes him out. Cutler oh. gets the second one, and now it's all on to Naf. And he's not able to convert it, so a great retake by CLG. And they do have the kit. No problem there. It was a good setup, but... They got anxious... Yeah, no one able to, uh, no one really spotting anything, uh, Dren still at that plant spot, looked the wrong way, like I said, Cutler takes him out. Neither of those two players in quad peaking to prevent any of the push-ups into the bomb site. so a nice pissed around win comes out of CLG when they had the disadvantage. Yeah, uh, as I said, you know, I didn't think, I didn't think they'd expect two to be quad, uh, but the way they t turtle up on that side, I think they finally knew that, especially since they didn't get any shots down on them from the A main area, that they must have been there. I think, I mean, you said it right, they, they turtled up, and I, I think they were just far too turtled. No, not enough aggression to prevent the retake to get any damage down as they entered the bomb site. so that's just a little bit unfortunate. All right. We'll be, uh, the, uh, our game crash here real quick, so we're going to go ahead and jump right back in. But while we've got that going on, it is, again, big A presence, and I'm not sure what I was just seeing, as Nafly was just staring at a guy at quad for that entire time. Um... But in any case, now they're going to try to execute on this A-bomb set again. Peter gets taken out after getting a scout kill onto Nitro. Now they're working in again. Fugly fighting a guy at Forklift. Once more, Tarek picks him up. Cutler picks up one of his own with the M4, and they clean it up. And so now CLG, 2-0. Yeah, and like we said earlier, guys, the uh, our streamer's Counter-Strike did crash, so he's going to get that going in just a second. It should be up already. Just missed an eco round. A pretty easy clean up for CLG. Not a lot of progress made there for, for Team Liquid. I believe they only actually got one death on the Peter with that scout, but they are going to do a third round buy off the plant that they got in that pistol round, and it looks like they're going to boost some players up quickly. That's going to be three players being boosted up, and Cutler's already down to 10 HP, so they've got this mid control for pretty easy. CLG forced to back off. Oh, but Tarek pushed up in A main at the lockers. Well, they get an opening pick on an Affly and smoke it off, so that's a lot of time wasted. And now it's just down to these four players who have that mid control, but where do they go? Where are they going to find their pick from here? There is a scout on Peter in quad. He's just jumping over the box, and that's a tough fight to win. That's going to that's gonna scare him a little bit. And they're going to push up towards this connector. FNS is holding a corner. No progress has been made, and they've been taking a lot of damage for not being able to find any openings, and now it's going to be a rotate into checkers into B. They're going to swarm out. Cutler with only 10 HP swings out from behind the box and gets two frags. Good start from him. Good hold on this B attack, and Hayes with a timely grenade, and Ifamas shuts down that attack, and it's a flawless victory for CLG there in the first buy round. Uh, yeah, uh, and like I said, with, with the bomb plant, they went ahead and bought that third round, and then they executed on that B bomb site. But uh, So now they find themselves, they're going to have to save here. <clears throat> I'm not able to pick up any rounds early, so I'm going to buy up some pistols here on the terrorist side. They've got a Tech-9 and a couple P250s across the board, one Deagle on the back of Fugly. And they're going to head towards that A-bomb site once more, which is where they went those first two rounds, and they're actually going to flash in. Tarek's flashed in, and he's got some aggression, and he gets Nitro. But returned quickly by Fugly, who pushed up into the A-man as well. they got two more there, and Naf has pushed into Squeaky, spams some down onto the guy at Forklift, and finally Fugly cleans it up. Yeah, but Fugly, there's one more to get. That's Peter. Peter still with the scout. He gets taken out by Nap, and it's going to be down to this two-on-two. -two, a little bit dangerous. There's a Colt in the hands of, of Daps. He's not able to connect with those shots, and Cutler takes him out. That's unfortunate. That could have been a great opening if he was able to get that kill. And then Hayes cleans it up. Nope. Not able to get a bomb plant, but could have been scary, and that was a pretty decent eco round. It's going to break the... not break the bank, but it's going to really diminish the amount of money that CLG had building up with those three kills. A lot of players were over eight grand going into this round, and now they're down to below two grand, a couple of them. Yeah, just unfortunate. But, Let's go ahead. I was just going to point out a double op setup. So on Tarek and Peter, we've seen Tarek opping a lot today, which kind of surprised us, and it's going to continue here into this map. Tarek's actually going to drop down on B and get a little bit aggressive in checkers, holding an angle, looking into the sunroom. We'll see if anything comes from that. The other opper is Peter, and 
He's over towards A. He's trying to he's trying to fast boost his teammate. He's trying to do the run boost, but the door opens and foils their plans. He's gonna have to spam through it, but Naf takes that advantage, takes out FNS on top of the red box, so that boost backfires on CLG a little bit, and there's a little bit of an opening to work with. The liquid's still all spread out across the map, but that opening pick is gonna allow them to take map control in other areas. Yes, sir, so Still just trying to figure out where they want to go. They did get that one frag at the A-bomb site, but I think they know that there's probably two more there to contest, and so they're not quite comfortable trying to take that yet. Fugly's way at the other side of the bomb site. He's just kind of playing that lurker role, hoping to see that someone would try to push through that mid-main. Right now, not going to see any, as he's got two at the A-bomb site, and one's going to come up towards Z. That this is, is Cutler. Go ahead. This is going to be an A execute. They're lining up for their smokes right now. Four players over there. One player, like you said, Fugly in middle, he's just going to lurk up the highway after the execute storms in. And flash and quad, Nitro clears the corner. This is a specialty. Entry fragging onto the bomb site. He leaps over. Not able to get it onto Hayes, who runs through the smokes, but Adren taking out Peter, and there falls Hayes. Swinging into the bomb site. They've cleaned it out basically for free. It's a three for one trade, all down to Tarek. One on four with that AWP, and that's going to signal an immediate save. He's just going to fall back into this B bomb site. And the bank on Liquid isn't good enough to really chase this, I don't think. I think they're going to be content with the round win, and they're going to try and build something up and let Tarek safely survive the round, although Fugly is kind of pressuring over towards B a little bit. I think he's pushing up just enough that he's hoping that maybe if he decides to walk up Z to try to get an exit frag, or Tarek does, that he might be able to get him. And Tarek is pushing that way just a little bit, so there's a chance that will run into him, although I don't think he's going to push up quite that far. He's just going to be content to sit here on that box outside of CT spawn. And so now, as you said, because of the money, they weren't able to chase him down. Tarek able to keep that up. But if you look at the, the money across the board of CLG, Hayes does have eight grand, so he's going to be able to drop one, and Cutler has seven. So they'll be fine. They'll be able to buy up here. But if they were to lose one more, they will be forced into an eco. Absolutely. That, those wallets entirely diminished on Tarek and Peter down to zero dollars. So a nice win from Liquid. Those entry fraggers coming in strong and storming that A-bomb site. Some early aggression from the defense on middle. They molly off the boost box, understanding that that's what's been, that's been a favorite strategy of Liquid on this map. FNS is actually pushed directly underneath. Nitro is able to get Peter through the smoke, who is holding an angle, but Nitro a little bit open up on that frag. Get the op out of the hands of Peter. Now down to a 5-on-4 again, so Liquid starts off another round with the man advantage. It's still very, very spread out, just like they, they were last round. Fugly over towards B. He's just lurking. He's kind of... Then they're a lurker and they're an off player who plays away from the team just to see what he can do in some one-on-one -on -one battles. Oh, Tarek one-tapping mm. at this door is able to take out Nap. That was almost too easy. It was almost so casual. Gets a second one on the Nitro jumping out of mid through the smoke. So Tarek doing some work for his team. Getting a third. Trying to connect with the spray, but he's not able to transfer it over to Daps. And this is going to be a mid-B split. It's a two-on-three. Fugly and Daps need to do some work as they enter this B bomb site. But Hayes swings out from behind the box, is able to get one before FNS rotates over and drops down from vents and takes out Fugly from behind. So a good response from CLG. That's going to put Liquid into a tough spot. Yeah, they knew the flank was going to be coming hard from vent, and uh, Fugly just a little too deep into the B main. He needed to be able to come out and help Daps a little bit sooner than that. Uh, by the time he was able to get to the bomb site, Daps was already getting under fire. So unable to help out. But again, Peter now got that op up and CLG has been playing fairly aggressive up at that A main and it's it's hurt them a little bit. Peter last round and Tarek a couple rounds before uh, it's also worked in their advantage but the last couple times they've done it has been detrimental to at least one of their players health but Hayes spamming through the smoke early and actually gets one and he might get a couple more as they're going to push him towards checker. He gets third and Hayes right now on a 3k with a bomb dropped into checker. Cutler going to pick up the one more trying to cross over towards that bomb and now it's all down to Adren, who is sitting back towards mid-main, just trying to see if he can see anything. He's sitting in this connector, but no one's going to push up on him. They do, looking at it. No, CLG doesn't really have much of the money to go ahead and do that either. They don't want to lose much either, so they're probably not going to push too hard to hunt him down. And there's a lot of time, though, so Adren's got to be very careful about this. Sure, they'll push him eventually. Right now, they're just trying to secure the bomb, make sure he's not coming in from any kind of weird flank. I don't see any reason why they wouldn't hunt him down. They're going to force Liquid onto a save after this round, so they'll have some time to build a bank back up if they do happen to lose one one round. But I got to say, that was a very disorganized tactic from Liquid. With over 
Over a minute and a half to try and run through that smoke so quickly on a half by I mean, you're forcing a lot of your money, and there's a drone with a kill, so he's going to be spotted out, not able to get the second one. Cutler takes him down, but trying to flash themselves through the smoke through like that, it, and they seem to just run into each other and get stuck, and that's probably the easiest three kill of Hayes' life. He's spraying people down in the smoke, and they don't even know what's happening, so... Yeah, there was a lot, yeah, a lot of just standing around. It was very it questionable, yeah, that they were, and it was, they didn't make any progress, and... To, to force buy and have that be your strategy, uh, that's just a little weak in my opinion. Well, we'll see what they decide to do this round. This round they are going to be an eco. And again, we're seeing so many teams when they're on their eco playing towards this A bomb site. And that's exactly what Liquid's going to do. They have two Tech 9s and a couple P250s. And that's all they've got. Very few nades. They got a couple smokes, so they might be able to smoke some things off if they work it correctly. But a lot of damage done by that nade. Uh, taking a couple players down to less than 75. So... And then with that smoke down on A main, it makes it very difficult to do any sort of A take once you've got that smoke down. Pushing through that can be very dangerous if you don't have set smokes, which they're not going to have. Well, they do have two smokes, but there is a lot of attention right now onto this A main. There's three players specifically over an A. Cutler holding an angle on top of the truck. He's going to re-smoke it now, so this Seiko is going to be forced to execute through a smoke. And there's a lot of Colts ready to spray him down as they come out the other side. Tarek and Quad going to swing out. He's going to grab one. Nitro does take one out, but... They have the bomb site now, and this is going to be a bomb plant, so a good Ecorod coming wow. in, and Nitro with the second kill. It's down to a two-on-two. -two. If they can get these guns and hold off this retake, that'd be magical, and that'd be wonderful for them. Molly into quad is not going to phase the player there. As this retake comes in, there is one coming from truck side and one coming up highway. A little bit of a battle, and Fugly's going to take out Cutler through the box. It's now all down to Peter with this AWP. Can't be as aggressive as he'd like. Oh, but he swing with the pistol and take out Fugly. Not prepared for that kind of aggression. Yeah, just a great shot there guy on the guy in quad and then pulling out his pistol, uh, not trying to use the op. You know, something that sometimes players tend to do, they, they try to still play that aggressive op, but Peter going ahead and being real smart about it, pulling out the well, pistol. There's also no reason for that player in quad to peek like that. He just gave, you know he's Correct. got an op, it's Peter the last guy, and let the guy in the bomb site play for himself. You're just supposed to play the clock and run it down and play the bot, play off the bomb. It's almost a, a third player on, on your team, so... Giving away a free kill there puts Fugly in a really poor situation and it doesn't work out for him. So now we've got AKs across the board and they smoke out and Liquid actually gets daps out in the middle. But he's not going to be able to get to vent without being contested as there is actually two guys at Sandbags. They're going to boost up and try to prevent that vent take which obviously has already been prevented. And they basically put heavy aggression here on the CT side of mid and they actually drop the bomb down. So see, it's been picked up because it fell basically on top of Nitro. But Daps picks up one, and now we've actually got Naf picking up Tarek, who is being really aggressive, pushing up through that smoke and flashes in the mid. So now we've got Cutler, Hayes, and Peter going against the four remaining Liquid members as they are in vent, and I think they're going to try to take this. And Hayes is by himself. He gets dropped very quickly, and so now they have free reign into this B bomb site. Oh, and Fugly lies to the vet room flag, turns around immediately, and that's going to leave Peter... And a one on four in another situation where that op is just an immediate save call. Cutler was actually in a brilliant spot. They were doing a bait and switch at those sandbags once his teammate fell. They, the Liquid didn't know that he was there at those sandbags as well, so he was opened up for a quick flank. Faze was able to delay that take a little bit longer, but he had to speed things up. Made him uncomfortable, and he gets picked off. And It's going to be a second round for Liquid, but... That, that round, that, that eco round that Liquid had that brought down to a one on two, or one on two that Peter won... It kind of demolished their economy. You look at the money, 1300 1200 850 That's That's not good. They're not going to have a lot of money here to buy up. Peter might be able to, or Peter will be able to drop one. Actually, he could drop two, so this could be another buy out of the CLG side. Yeah, I mean, the, the only saving grace that Liquid had was that they had gotten that bomb down, so they were able to buy up the AKs for this, this round. Um, and yeah, you, you look at it now, even their, their money not super good right now, so if they were to lose this one, they'd be able to buy one more, but then immediately be in a save situation again. So, we'll see. Right, but they, they do have to overcome terror, or Peter did drop two rifles, so it is three Colts and an AWP on the CLG side, and they're stocked up on equipment, so this is going to be a tough round for Liquid to win. Naf taking over this door control very, very quickly. And there's actually going to be a boost in vents. And between... They definitely saw that. I think Nitro saw that. The boost into the vents or the boost yeah. out of the A-box? The boost in the A-box. Yeah, he's spamming yeah. for it. He knows they're there, so... That should force Tarek to drop. He's a little bit scared. He's got no cover to get away from it. Yeah, but that's going to force him into an awkward position, and 
The smoke from FNS not coming out quickly enough that Edge Ren's been able to get that pick, so a little bit unfortunate. That boost is twice now that that's actually backfired on him. They do have Peter who quickly rotated over. He's going to push up here with that op actually all the way up to forklift and be really aggressive. And Nitro has to be careful here because as soon as that smoke starts to dissipate, Peter's going to drop him. And we have... Good play by Peter. Good aggression there, fighting the angle. Now he's going to scope in on the door, and here come the smokes. He's getting, he's getting shot at. He's catching a couple bullets down to 67 HP, and the executes coming in, and they got to be worried about that. He does get one more as they come out. He's going for a second, and Dren takes him out, but Hayes, Hayes responds as FNS goes down. Hayes is flanking, and Cutler pushed up at forklift. This is mayhem. Daps all of a sudden feeling very awkward in a one-on-two situation. Only 18 HP. Not much for him to do. He's surrounded. He can't connect the shot onto Cutler, who takes him down. That's going to be another situation where Liquid just can't string the rounds together. Yes, sir. And as I said, based on that Ica round that they did lose to Peter, they're going to be, you know, actually, I think Naf, he's really low. So they, they're going to force up. Um, but this is going to push them into an eco if they were to lose that one. So like I said, they're able to buy one more here. But if they lose this one, then they're in an eco situation late in this half, which is going to be very scary for them. So they need to try to get some early frags here, potentially, to uh, put this round away. You're absolutely correct, and this time they are lining up for these A smokes, and instead of Fugly lurking over towards B, it's actually Daps at the moment. So all the entry fragging of Liquid is gathered up at this A bomb site for these smokes to be deployed. Although they do, they apparently they got some wind of something that broke them out of that that setup. They were setting up for some set smokes and falling off of that idea quickly. Now they've spread back out. Fugly looking for pushes in A main. It's happened a couple times. Tarek's been able to push up towards Locker, and one round they caught Peter out peeking into the into the main. They don't want to get fooled by that again, but here they come. A pop flash into A by FNS. He's going to clear things out, and it's his turn to get pushed up towards Locker. And they set back up for these smokes, so this could catch them off guard. I'm, hopefully they're going to check it as they come in, or else this could be devastating. FNS in prime position to do a lot of damage to this hit. Oh, but instead they throw these they throw these smokes, and I'm going towards A. They're getting boosted over. Tarek spots it out and takes one out quickly. This is going to be some smokes into a mid-B split. It's going to be all on daps. To help his teammates as they storm in through the checkers. Hazed all alone in this bomb site still. The rotation's just coming in. He's gonna get smoked off. That's Cutler, fully blind, so Hayes needs to do some work onto this bomb site. Paris are pushing up and Fugly takes him out. Now they're just worried. PDR Peter from Heaven. It's an off frag. And Cutler flanking once again. Pushes through the smoke. Takes another one out. It's all quickly down to a one on three. A dread. Just a magical round that he can pull out. He does. He gets two, but Peter peeks out at the right moment and gets that last off frag. Down to a one-on-one. -on -one. They're making so much progress in these rounds, they're just not able to finish them off. Yeah, which which means the big benefit of that is that they are hurting CLG's economy as well. So if they're able to finish a round, then CLG is going to be really hurting. Uh, because actually, you look at it, you look on CLG's side, they've got one player with 50 and two with zero. Actually, two players with 50 and two with zero after those buys. So if they were able to pick up a round... They'd be really in a good situation to pick up a couple more potentially. But right now, they are on an eco again. They've got Tech 9s and P250s again with no nades this time. They've got one flash on the back of a drone. That's what they've got in terms of equipment. And uh, they're stacked up towards this middle this time. And they may just try to rush out after this. Yep, after a quick flash. Now they're just going to try to push out and maybe try to catch Tarek. No, they're going to do a quick event take and dropping into checkers. And Peter's right there with the auto. He's going to get it overrun. He's so up close. Luckily, Tarek's able to do the quick rotate off of the mid-connector Z. And they just need to go get this bomb plant now. And they are. He's going to plant safe here back in the back of the bomb site. And get some money in their bank. Nitro not able to do anything with that AWP. And FNS cleans him up. Two frags for him. And it was really Tarek that saved the day on that rotate. They had Peter Solo in that bomb site with the AWP very close up. And he got caught off guard. But... Tarek manages to pick two off before they can get comfortable in the site and it delays the plant long enough for the rotations to come in. So it is going to be 10 to 2 for CLG going into these last three rounds of the half. And Liquid desperately needs something, something to work in their favor. They need to pick up some rounds here. Yeah, it's 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 gonna it's gonna get really scary for them real quick. So uh, they are able to get the op back on the back, back on the back of a Dren. <laughs> I like how you did that. That was good. Yeah. And uh, so now we'll see. They're going to work him again towards this A bomb site. And I believe he is going to. He's actually going to work this op into Squeaky and see if they're going to aggress on him. 
I don't think they are. They actually already got Peter boosted up. So Peter's up in the boost spot in A and FNS in the back of the bomb site. He's gonna work. Oh, he gets sprayed down. He sprays down NAF and Peter picks up Nitro from that. So all of a sudden, any sort of signs of life that Liquid could have gotten to get shut down without them even seeing anyone. Yeah, that, that is absolutely devastating and a dread in this door. It's a nice flick shot on FNS. That's a good start. But Tarek, being aggressive in mid, picks off Fugly down to a two on four. Daps with the bomb is smoked out at A main, and he doesn't really want to mess with it because he knows Peter's got an op in there. Calls over Adren, but the Molly's going to slow him down. Adren's going to get boosted up and try and get a little bit of late mid control. This is Tarek they'd have to deal with. Jumping over the spindle in the box to try and spot mid. But nothing coming of it yet. Adren ready to drop down. And Daps with this bomb. They're just chilling right now, waiting for any kind of aggression. And... Peter's got an angle with the AWP and A, and that's going to be very scary to have to deal with. It looks like they're just resigning to their fate, having to go towards B, but this clock is running down. Adren's going to try and get a pick up highway as Daps comes running up behind him. I'm assuming he's going to have to go vent. Maybe get that pick will force a rotate from the B bomb site, but now it's down to 20 seconds. They're still not doing anything. They're going to have to just save here. Yeah, it's too late to go into a bomb site, no. so they're going to save these guns. Not able to find anything. CLG turtling up really well and not giving them... Any kills to get back into this round, playing the advantage of the manpower so well. Liquid playing, or excuse me, CLG playing with these the various setups that they've done, switching up, whether it be double op or, or uh, rotating players around in different positions. I mean, we've seen Tarek playing up in Z. We've been, seen Peter up there with an op. We've seen Peter boost it up with an op into the A-bomb site, just really playing very dynamic CT setups, uh, which is not allowing Liquid to get a good read on what exactly is going on. They haven't been able to find any sort of system to what CLG is running. As uh, they and do... Liquid... Go ahead. Liquid hasn't been able to... They keep wanting to do these fast boosts over mid, and CLG's just mollying it over and over. That's two mollies right in succession, so... Liquid's not able to get comfortable with what they want to do early on in these rounds, and you can see they're not finding any success early on, and it's not leading to anything in the mid-rounds either. Yeah, and Peter, again, opping Z this time around. He did see that they were boosted up, but unable to get Naf. And now they've got the smoke out towards mid, and Naf is still just continuing to try to get any sort of peek on someone, but Peter goes ahead and finally picks him up. And so... With that, they don't have that boost presence anymore, and they're going to slowly work towards the B bomb site. This is where the bomb has been sitting the entire time, and they're going to walk up quickly. And there is just the one CT there. It is Hayes sitting in the bomb site by himself. And right now, there is full four CTs at the A bomb site. So if they take this quickly and get Hayes, they have a chance to get down and get. He whoa, Hayes gets a good shot onto Nitro though, and now he's by himself. It's dropped, and but the rotate, just the one kill is able to get the entire CT team to go ahead and rotate very quickly. And now it's 12 to 2 as Hayes doing just enough. That's that story that we've talked about. Do just enough to give your team the chance to rotate over, and that's what happened. Yeah, I mean, they, they did have an A presence, a really strong A presence, but Color was actually pushed up in mid, so his flank was able to come in so quick, and Hayes with that one kill didn't didn't leave him with the manpower to watch for that vent flank so early on. Cutler comes storming out and ends any chances that Liquid had of taking that bomb site. And this is a round, this is a third round that Liquid desperately, desperately needs if they want to have any kind of hope in the second half to make a comeback. All right, and they are. They're going for this boost again. They're just going to sit two up there. They're not going to peek him out. It's a common thing to see boost him up where you can't be seen until you actually go and try to do your execute. I imagine you're going to see, yes, a flash out towards mid, and that's where they're going to work as they boost it over now, and they've actually been able to get out into mid, but that hasn't really mattered most of the time. As FNS picks up one, Tarek had got one as well. Right, they just paid dearly for that mid control, and it's mid control they haven't been able to get this entire match, and now they're going to be mollied off on highway. That's going to delay everything. You see Cutler's able to make his way over into connector. Peter takes some damage, but ends up getting the kill with the grenade, and FNS with that AWP rotates over, and CLG had entire control from start to finish of the uh, of middle on cash. And you could saw how, how damaging it was for Liquid if they weren't able to get that control. Their attacks were very, very weak, and it starts out early on. They had a couple rounds that should have gone in their favor that they could have won, starting out with the pistol round even. But they just ended up losing, and it gave, uh, it gave CLG so much money in the bank to keep rebuying those AWPs, to keep stocking up on, on the Molotovs, to burn out the, uh, the boost boxes. And 
Liquid wasn't able to get anything going, so the advantage obviously is heavily in the favor of CLG with a 13 to 2 scoreline as we get into the second half pistol round. Yeah, uh, just a very solid, like you said, very solid uh, CT side there from CLG. Just locking down basically everything and just continuing uh, to, to stop everything that Liquid was trying to do. Uh, but with that said, I have some prior engagements, and so I have to drop down. And because of that, you're going to have Mr. Corey Gilbert coming back to join you for the rest of this BO3. And with that, Jason, I bid you adieu. It was a good time, sir, but continue on. Have fun with the rest of these finals. It was, absolutely. Thanks, Holden. This attack is going to come in towards the B site. There are three players working their way on the CLG side. A little bit of a distraction going in is pulling the rotate of Adren over towards mid, but the real attack is starting to come in now. Nitro's up in heaven with his USP, adapts at the headshot spot with his P2000. He can't get the kills. Tarek's going to take him out. Nitro in heaven, goosh down to 3 HP. He can't be as aggressive as he would like, and that's going to seed the B bomb site to the terrorists. And around the seal, or the liquid absolutely has to have. And the plant's going to go down, and there's not a lot of hope here for liquid to retake this bomb site. There is a smoke, but a good stack, and. Storming in his nap, he's not going to be able to get the kill. They're looking the wrong way, and Hayes is able to clean everything up, including a TK onto Peter. Not a bad round indeed for the CLG side. Obviously off and rolling in this matchup, 14-2. to two. And hi, Moses, how are you? I'm wonderful. Good to have you back. Outstanding, outstanding. So really glad to be back for this one. So we're going to be seeing this one now as uh, CLG putting themselves into a prime position to take this one. And this is, uh, I guess, the first map of the uh, finals? Yes, it is. Okay, well, CLG coming out strong already on the cash map. And uh, I don't know what the rest of these uh, matchups are going to be on, what maps are going to be on. I'm a little bit late to the party here, but obviously CLG wants to win this one, and it looks pretty solid for them as they're going to have a 12-round lead into this second half. So we're going to see a little bit of a slow strategy coming out from them. They don't want to give anything away. Nitro playing kind of aggressive here in front of the squeaky door. He's got one right around the corner behind him. That's Tarek with the Tech 9 in hand and possibly looking for a push to come out in that direction as they're going to pop pop that door here in just a second. They're going to spam a little bit. Nitro in front of it. The door backfires and he gets taken down. Now they've got a drain over there by the forklift. They've got a little bit of a stack here at the A bomb site as well. They're going to be able to find one. Now that's going to be Hazed and Cutler going back in, but Nafly with the Desert Eagle is going to be able to find two. And that's going to leave it all on Hazed and Cutler here in this one versus two. So. Not a bad eco round thus far for the Liquid side. They're still looking to get that bomb plant in this A bomb site, but it's going to be uh, a tall order here for Nafly. He's chipping away. Get a couple shots there on the Cutler, but looks like he's going to go ahead and hang on to his Desert Eagle and his body armor here. So not a bad eco round for Liquid, but CLG looking to take this one up to match point already in the second half. Right, absolutely. You know, with the scoreline... You're not really in the business of moral victories anymore. Have a good eco around. You're just kind of in trouble. And CLG's going to go up 15-2 to two here. And that was a full buy from Liquid. So they're not going to have a lot to work with in this, this next round. It's going to be more pistols and armor. Nap trying to spam through and grab a couple kills. But CLG has been, been in command of this match from start to finish. Yeah, it seems that way. Now, unfortunately, I missed the first half of this one. But obviously, with a 13-2 to two scoreline on their CT side, just shutting it down completely... And uh, Liquid, you know, not a whole lot of momentum in their favor right now. The first half was basically CLG just sh shutting down the middle portion of the map. Liquid is, it wasn't able to gain any any foothold that they wanted. They were forced just to have executes onto B and A. And CLG was just able to win every gun battle. And here they are going to do another fast A rush. There's only one player over here. That's Nitro. He's got a CZ-75. He's going to throw a flash out. Fugly's going to take one out to slow things down, but Nitro, is he going to be able to get anything going? He's not. Peter's going to entry onto him. Tarek also responding onto Fugly, so that's the A bomb site. The rotations are coming in. One player at Trucko, Daps and Adren, swinging around forklift, able to get two. But FNS in middle. No, FNS, is, uh, FNS is an A main, excuse me. He's going to be coming out. They have control of this bomb site, and the bomb has not been planted yet, so there is some life for the CT side, but Adren gets picked off there, and that diminishes their abilities. Taps with the Deagle trying to land a shot. It's not going to happen. It's going to have yeah. to be aggressive here, and he's just going to get sprayed through that smoke, and that's going to be the...